29. Nick. Steve left me at the door of the apartment block that long ago. He had closed with the clear idea of not returning. Back there, after more than a year, it had been hard, the memories, the damn memories were present in every corner, in every corner, in every room. That day, seeing her with Simon had been like having my heart cut open with a knife. Damn Simon Roger, damn it, how I would have liked to smash his face. He would have kicked all his teeth out when I saw him kissing. His neck, his skin, his lips. Then came the moment when I cornered her against the wall, the moment when. I forgot everything that happened, when it seemed that we were ready to erase everything. And continue forward. Having her in my arms was always something magnetic. Pure attraction, against which nothing can be done. However, suddenly something. Seemed to hit me like a wrecking ball, I was aware that a veil. Invisible, a veil he had not noticed before, had come between the two. What was it? Time? Our lives already almost completely remade and separated. A love that was beginning to freeze in memory. At that moment I felt fear, fear when I realized that the separation between the two was already something accomplished, tangible and much more real than ever before. I could have imagined. I entered the elevator thinking about her face leaning against the pillow, in. His hair scattered on the white sheets, in the letter he had seen. On your nightstand, always at hand, close. Had those words stopped making sense? Yes, of course, no matter how much he lost control when he had her in front of her, because. As much as he wanted her, as much as he wanted to return to where we had been. Left, the truth was that he had cheated on me with someone else. When I opened the door I noticed that the lights were on. Sophia was. On the couch, sitting, looking at the turned-off television screen and with a glass of. It came between her fingers. I took off her jacket and left it on the couch where she was. In front of his. Her eyes wandered to me and I saw something I didn't like. Were you with her? What was the point of lying, of course I had been with her, there was no need to be. Very smart to come to that conclusion. Yes, I took her home, she wasn't feeling well, I answered, shaking hands. Behind her and pouring me a drink. She is she with someone, Nicholas, he could have taken her home. Thinking of Simon as that someone drove me crazy. Are you really questioning me, Sophia? You know I don't like it. Answer to no one, I said, putting down the bottle with a sharp thump. Sophia got up from the couch and with sure steps she stood in front of me. Ours is no longer a game and if this continues you will have to have me. Keep in mind, Nicholas. So yes, I question you. Before I didn't care what. What you did or didn't do, it was clear what our type of relationship was, but. It's been a while since our thing has gone that way, so I would like it. You would keep your word. I looked at her black eyes carefully and saw much more than what she. She intended to show me. I took a step forward from her, grabbed her chin and looked at her more closely. I will keep my word, I stated, caressing her skin with a light caress. Of my fingers. But you fulfill yours. Sophia closed her eyes for a moment and then stared at me again. This time hiding many things. I'm not going to fall in love with you, so stop worrying. With that, she separated from me, turned her back on me, and went to my room. I drank the rest of my glass and went after her. Now it was my turn to keep promises. 30. Noah. After Nick left and I slept for a couple of hours, the stomach pain and a renewed desire to vomit woke me up. I almost. I fell out of bed in my rush to get to the bathroom. I was so exhausted that I didn't even realize that I had to go to work. I got up as best I could and washed my face. He had black blemishes. Remnants of makeup from the day before and large dark circles under the eyes. I 
I put on makeup and almost spent the entire bottle trying to cover my shame. I took my backpack, coat and car keys and rushed out of the apartment. It. The last thing I wanted was for Nick to have another reason to fire me, when thinking about. That's why I couldn't help but remember our burning kiss last evening. I looked at the cell phone messages while driving, something you shouldn't do, by the way, and I saw that I had like 10 missed calls from Simon. Oh shit. I had forgotten that I wasn't alone now, damn it. And now. What the hell was I going to tell him? That my ex-boyfriend had taken me home after. To put my tongue down my throat. I needed coffee, yes, coffee would make me think clearly, it would help me. Face the consequences of the night before, but just as I entered. In the building and I was heading to the elevator I saw him. There was Nick, in a suit. Jacket and staring at the screen of his cell phone while he waited for the elevator arrived. I took a deep breath, cursing my luck, and went there. I I considered taking the stairs, but going up 14 floors and being hungover was not something I really wanted to do. I stopped next to him and he looked up his cell phone to place it on me. Damn, I wish I were one of those people whose memory is erased by alcohol. Now that situation would be less awkward. What are you doing here? I work here, I replied, rolling my eyes. Nick ignored my flippant response. I thought you wouldn't come today, yesterday you were so sad. Well, I didn't want to give you reasons to fire me, I replied. Ignoring his presence as best I could and entering the empty elevator. When the doors opened. Nicholas followed me, putting his cell phone in his pocket. How do you feel? He asked with something strange in his voice. I'm fine, I said, surprised that he cared about me. Yesterday things had gotten out of hand again, had caused it. I know, but I never thought he would fall like he did. You should throw it away. Those words don't mean anything anymore. His words came to my mind as if rescued from a dense fog. Why had he told me that? To hurt me? If you really believe that. Those words said long ago meant nothing, why the hell did I? Had kissed again, why he had taken me home to make sure I. It was okay, why was he wondering how I was doing now? That had to end, I couldn't continue going blindly. Without barely stopping to think about what I was doing, I took a step forward and pressed. The red stop button. The elevator made a strange rattle, beeped. Sharp and stopped. I turned to Nick, who was as surprised as he was confused. Because? I asked, crossing my arms in an attempt to feel comfortable. Protected from him, my only way to pretend there was a barrier. Between the two. Why what? He answered with a frown. Why did you kiss me? Nick stared at me for the only response. You should not do it. He raised his eyebrows skeptically. I didn't hear you complain. I felt myself turning red. Nicholas smiled in a way that cut my nerves. Breathing. Now you're going to tell me that the little dance you did on the dance floor wasn't for. Get jealous. I opened my eyes feigning indignation. You're not the center of the universe, it had nothing to do with you, I lied. Besides, what does that have to do with anything? It is already the second time that. You do. It's you who comes to look for me, you did it at your father's house and you do it. Now, and I don't like it, you confuse me and. And? He interrupted me, taking a step in my direction. This time I didn't. I stepped back, but stayed where I was, I was going to face that. Situation, she was fed up with the emotional ups and downs that followed each of. Our reunions, every time I thought I could forget him he appeared and. He did things that made me question my judgment. I'm tired of this, Nicholas, it's been a long time, and I'm. Trying to move forward. He didn't seem very amused by my last comment. Move on with Simon? 
In each of those words there was inoculated poison. With Simon or whoever. I deserve to be happy too, I stated. With determination. I want what you and I had, Nicholas, and if Simon. He didn't let me finish the sentence. His hand latched onto my wrist and pulled me tight. Force until my chest collided with his, our feet aligned on the ground. Repeat that. Repeat that you want Simon to give you the same as me. My breath hitched when I had him so close, his fragrance filled my eyes. Senses and I wanted to move away to have control again, but he stopped me. Placing his other hand on my back and pressing me against his body. Someday I will be with someone else, Nicholas. You can't expect anyone to. Touch and be at your entire disposal whenever you want. I am with. Simon, accept it, just as I accept you being with Sophia, I said, feeling a bitter taste in his mouth at even mentioning his stupid name. Do you remember Sophia? Your girlfriend? I added with disgust. Nicholas's expression changed, he watched me for a few moments as he seemed eternal and in which I could see how the anger they provoked in him. My words transformed him at times. You're playing with fire, Noah. His fist clenched at his side. Hard. I'm not playing at anything, it's you who tries to play both sides. Nicholas laughed bitterly. It's ironic that you're the one who blurts that out of your mouth. Don't you think so? God, always the same. Damn, are you ever going to stop? Remind me. Without taking my eyes off him, I reached out and hit the red stop button again. The elevator started up again as we both continued to fight. The longest battle in history. Before the doors opened I let out a last comment, as much as it hurts us, we both knew that this moment was going to end up coming. I saw he was going to say something, but the doors opened and I slipped through them. Running away from anything hurtful he was going to say. For the first time since we broke up, I wanted him to leave. When I got off the elevator I went straight to Simon's office. He owed her. Explanation. When I entered I saw him leaning on his desk, with his arms crossed and his. Worried expression. What happened to you last night, Noah? He, he asked me when he saw me and I felt. Blushed. One moment you say you're going to the bathroom and the next I see myself. Looking for you everywhere, worried. I thought something had happened to you. Damn, seriously, don't do something like that again. I'm sorry, I know I left you stranded, I. I spent an hour looking for you until a guy in a jacket came to me. Tell me that you had gone home. Why did you leave? Damn, I felt so guilty. I had been a complete idiot and now. She had put into play what she had begun to have with Simon. She took a hesitant step, overwhelmed by losing what she had all the appearance of going on. The right direction. I felt terrible, I'm ashamed to even tell you. I would like to tell you that. I just had to leave because someone asked me to help him. Some emergency or that a friend of mine broke up with her boyfriend and called me to comfort her or that I sprained my ankle and had to go to the emergency room without hesitation. But the truth is that I went too far with the drink. I don't want you to think that I'm a kid who doesn't know how to drink or something worse, but the truth is this, she was drunk, and you. I assure you that the hangover I have right now is punishment enough, please. Forgive me. I took a deep breath to recover from my monologue and noticed that Simon he was starting to look at me like he used to. He left the table and approached me. Stay an inch away from me. Next time, let me know and I will be the one in charge of taking you safely and save your house. I know we've only known each other for a few weeks, but I I like you and I want you to trust me if you're ever in trouble. Boys and girls, here's a mature reaction. I gave him a smile that didn't reach my eyes. He ran a hand through me. His waist and he pulled me closer to his body. I had a good time last night, 
but I'm sorry that wasn't your case. It was great until I decided to drink the third shot, there I screwed up. But the rest was incredible, really, I had an incredibly good time. Simon put his hand up my navy blue shirt and pulled me towards him. After the argument with Nick I wanted, needed, to have it with Simon. Worked. He kissed me on the mouth in a tender and loving way. My hands went up. Until I grabbed him by the neck and forced him to deepen a kiss that he needed. Make him forget the man who was a few meters away. We separated, breathing a little faster, and I watched as Simon. I smiled. Am I forgiven? More than that, I'm going to tell you off more often. I laughed and just then the door to his office opened. She was Nick's secretary. Mr. Leister has called a meeting in an hour. Us. He wants to see everyone there. The meeting with all the members of the sector was torture. To me. I had to take charge of the projection and show the slides, and that put me in. The center of attention, I was standing while the others watched me from there. Respective sights, especially Nick. If he didn't control the way he looked at me. Simon and everyone in the office would become suspicious and that was the last thing he wanted. Wanted to. When he finished, Nicholas got up and asked us to stay a few. Seconds more. I wanted to discuss a tricky topic, but I think it's important. Everyone. We looked carefully, we had no idea why it had gotten so cold. Suddenly. I don't know if some of you are not aware of the rules of this. Company and for that reason I have ordered copies to be made for each one of those here. Present with the objective that you also make them reach your subordinates. Everyone looked attentively at Nicholas, who returned the gesture. Look in a professional and distant manner. Fraternization between employees is strictly prohibited. I opened my eyes surprised. I noticed Simon's eyes fixed on Nicholas and Suddenly, an uncomfortable silence invaded the room. It is a rule that has always prevailed in each and every one of the companies of my family and that I consider important for the proper functioning. From the same. He looked at us all, stopping at Simon and then in me. If that is clear, you can continue working, thank you. A rumor spread through the room while those who had attended the Meeting they were eager to get out of the meeting room as quickly as possible. God, that rule was ridiculous. I turned to Simon and saw him sit up, but he didn't do anything. As if to go to his office. Nicholas finished putting his things in his briefcase and when he looked up and seeing us, he put the pencil he had between his fingers on the glass table and stood up straight. Ready to listen to whatever Simon was about to tell him. For the first time since we broke up, I wanted him to leave. When I got off the elevator I went straight to Simon's office. He owed her. Explanation. When I entered I saw him leaning on his desk, with his arms crossed and his. Worried expression. What happened to you last night, Noah? He, he asked me when he saw me and I felt. Blushed. One moment you say you're going to the bathroom and the next I see myself. Looking for you everywhere, worried. I thought something had happened to you. Damn, seriously, don't do something like that again. I'm sorry, I know I left you stranded, I. I spent an hour looking for you until a guy in a jacket came to me. Tell me that you had gone home. Why did you leave? Damn, I felt so guilty. I had been a complete idiot and now. She had put into play what she had begun to have with Simon. She took a hesitant step, overwhelmed by losing what she had all the appearance of going on. The right direction. I felt terrible, I'm ashamed to even tell you. I would like to tell you that. I just had to leave because someone asked me to help him. Some emergency or that a friend of mine broke up with her boyfriend and called me to comfort her or that I sprained my ankle and had to go to the emergency room without hesitation. But the truth is that I went too far with the drink. I don't want you to think that I may. 
It seems that she doesn't know how to drink or something worse, but the truth is that, she was drunk, and you. I assure you that the hangover I have right now is punishment enough, please. Forgive me. I took a deep breath to recover from my monologue and noticed that Simon. He was starting to look at me like he used to. He left the table and approached me. Stay an inch away from me. Next time, let me know and I will be the one in charge of taking you safely and save your house. I know we've only known each other for a few weeks, but I I like you and I want you to trust me if you're ever in trouble. Boys and girls, here's a mature reaction. I gave him a smile that didn't reach my eyes. He ran a hand through me. His waist and he pulled me closer to his body. I had a good time last night, but I'm sorry that wasn't your case. It was great until I decided to drink the third shot, there I screwed up. But the rest was incredible, really, I had an incredibly good time. Simon put his hand up my navy blue shirt and pulled me towards him. After the argument with Nick I wanted, needed, to have it with Simon. Worked. He kissed me on the mouth in a tender and loving way. My hands went up. Until I grabbed him by the neck and forced him to deepen a kiss that he needed. Make him forget the man who was a few meters away. We separated, breathing a little faster, and I watched as Simon. I smiled. Am I forgiven? More than that, I'm going to tell you off more often. I laughed and just then the door to his office opened. She was Nick's secretary. Mr. Leister has called a meeting in an hour. Us. He wants to see everyone there. The meeting with all the members of the sector was torture. To me. I had to take charge of the projection and show the slides, and that put me in. The center of attention, I was standing while the others watched me from there. Respective sights, especially Nick. If he didn't control the way he looked at me. Simon and everyone in the office would become suspicious and that was the last thing he wanted. Wanted to. When he finished, Nicholas got up and asked us to stay a few. Seconds more. I wanted to discuss a tricky topic, but I think it's important. Everyone. We looked carefully, we had no idea why it had gotten so cold. Suddenly. I don't know if some of you are not aware of the rules of this. Company and for that reason I have ordered copies to be made for each one of those here. Present with the objective that you also make them reach your subordinates. Everyone looked attentively at Nicholas, who returned the gesture. Look in a professional and distant manner. Fraternization between employees is strictly prohibited. I opened my eyes surprised. I noticed Simon's eyes fixed on Nicholas and Suddenly, an uncomfortable silence invaded the room. It is a rule that has always prevailed in each and every one of the companies of my family and that I consider important for the proper functioning. From the same. He looked at us all, stopping at Simon and then in me. If that is clear, you can continue working, thank you. A rumor spread through the room while those who had attended the Meeting they were eager to get out of the meeting room as quickly as possible. God, that rule was ridiculous. I turned to Simon and saw him sit up, but he didn't do anything. As if to go to his office. Nicholas finished putting his things in his briefcase and when he looked up and. Seeing us, he put the pencil he had between his fingers on the glass table and stood up straight. Ready to listen to whatever Simon was about to tell him. Do you know something, Nicholas? He said, surrounding the table and approaching. He. I looked at them nervously, not really knowing what to do or say. I shouldn't have. Made out with him last night, at least not in front of Nick, much less. Having mentioned it in the elevator. Damn, she had given him the. Opportunity to throw this in our faces. I think it's very good that you require employees to comply with your stupid rules, but you must not forget that I am a partner of this company, so you're. You can put orders regarding my private life wherever you want. 
Nicholas did not seem surprised by this verbal attack, what's more, he stood up. How tall he was and he faced him without regard. I own 60% of the assets, which basically leaves you. You were the 20, taking into account that the remaining 40 you share with. Baxwell. In the partnership agreement it was established very clearly that the company fell under the jurisdiction of Leicester Enterprises, so if you want. Propose a meeting with the board, that is, with me and my advisors, go ahead, no. I have no problem. Shit. Nicholas, you're not being fair, he scolded under his breath. I couldn't. Believe what was happening. If one day one of the two of you wants to run a company, you can do. With her whatever you want, but in the meantime things are like this. If you. See us together again in some kind of compromising situation or that makes me. Suspect, believe or simply doubt that you are having a relationship. Sentimental, I will put you on the street. Understood. I stared at Simon and felt sorry for him, I could tell he wanted to. Break his face, but no matter how much the situation deserved it, he was not going to hit his. Boss of him, he couldn't do or say anything, he had already spoken badly enough to him, and seeing what. Seen, he feared that Nicholas was waiting for the slightest opportunity to. Kick him out of the company. Simon grabbed his things and left the room, slamming the door. Nicholas turned to me, who was still standing there like an idiot, the blood. I was boiling with the rage I felt, with the helplessness. At that moment I hated him. Being so selfish, for not wanting me for him, or for anyone, I hated him for. Continue playing with me even knowing that my heart continued crying for. He. Are you also going to walk out that door like an angry teenager? Because I couldn't care less, he said picking up his things as if. Nothing. But what the hell is wrong with you? I snapped, raising my voice and. Clenching his fists tightly. Nicholas gave me a venomous look. I'm trying to run a company. I'm not going to let you sleep with one. Of my partners. But that's none of your business. I yelled. You're incredible, he stated, lowering his tone and looking at me angrily. Sometimes. It's hard for me to remember the reasons why I was in love with you. I think and everything is reduced to quite exciting powders, yes, but they do not compensate. Not even close to all the shitty moments you put me through. Since when had this become a conversation about? Us. You talk as if you were a damn saint. I remind you that I slept with. Another because they made me believe that you had done it with two others at my backs. Mine was a mistake, but what about you? What about you, Nicholas? T.O. How many women have you slept with since we broke up? Even to me. God, I let you do whatever you wanted with me and you were with someone else. I have touched. Deep with you, you treat me as if I were your property or as if I were a toy that entertains you in your moments of boredom. Don't let me continue. Go ahead and that's very selfish. Nicholas put his things on the table and came towards me. She was very angry. He was breathing hard and my hands were shaking. I had let off steam. I had needed to let go of that, that and much more, keeping things inside was of no use. You are welcome. You know why? because I'm not going to let you move on until I don't have achieved it. Things are like this, I don't want to see you happy, I don't want to see you with anyone because I'm not done with you yet. I pushed him with all my strength and walked away until I reached the other end of the room. You're not going to touch me again, I said through clenched teeth. The effect of my words. It caused a predatory glow in his dilated pupils. You think you can. Do with me what you want, but that is not so, while you are with another, our. Yesterday's kiss is going to be the last one we are going to give each other. Nicholas stopped in front of me and placed both hands on the wall, a. Eh? On each side of my head. 
I can't stand seeing you with that guy, it drives me crazy, he confessed. Staring at me, passion and resolve clear in his eyes. I let out an ironic laugh. Well, it's not like I'm crazy about seeing you with Sophia either. Nick ignored my comment and moved a little closer to me. I need to be inside you, he said then, without any shame. No. Nick gave me one of those lopsided smiles that I had loved so much. Liked. You know perfectly well that I can change your mind so quickly that. You won't even know what happened. As he said it he grabbed my chin and with his. His thumb caressed my cheek until he reached my lower lip. I grabbed her hand and pulled it away. I'm not going to play this game, not this time, I declared, separating myself from him. There is no solution to this, Nicholas, it would only hurt us more and I already. I have suffered everything my body can bear, I am not going to put more people in. In this, you're with Sophia and I'm starting something with Simon, and that's the reality. Nicholas shook his head, getting angry again. You're not going to start anything with him, Noah, not here at least, he threatened me without warning. Taboos. I looked around. If this is how things were going to be. Then he left it. I resign, I said, leaving him stunned. I separated from him and. I left, closing the door behind me. He's already done, it was already done, there was no other reason to go back to. See him.